This is Thor. This is This is Trinity. It doesn't have much of a base. Zero base, in fact. Right? It's going straight to the ground. That's a good point. Whereas the other ones do. Okay? In fact, they're very similar bases. That's typically, this is traditionally good Greek architecture when a door column goes straight to the ground. You don't always see that. We'll see some examples of that today. But that's the way the Greeks would have done it. All that kind of stuff. And that's kind of the base knowledge you're going to need for Greek architecture. And from that, you can actually see on this campus, maybe some things. So grab your jackets. Okay. Oh, we'll leave your stuff here. We'll come back. Since Phantom is in the shaded area here. simplistic beauty, right, that goes with um, architecture. All right, so here we are on the center of the quad. I love the Georgetown prep. Now where, <coughs> tell me some Greek architecture. Oh, 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 oh. Here. What do you got, Mr. Brennan? What, what kind of, what, what is this? It looks good. It has a base, though. Ah, yes. Good point. So it looks good because of the capital. The circular oh, surface. Metapes. <laughs> metapes, yes. Yeah. 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 Are those columns the metapes on the uh, cupola? Uh, those are columns. What kind of columns are those? Those are door columns. Yeah, even though they have a base, but they're attached into the structure. So technically they'd be plastic. The metapes up there, obviously the front of the building is going to mirror the back side of the building as well. Right? And then you have inset on the secondary against the building. Plasters. Plasters, right? Again, more printed plasters. And it goes next to the doorway. These are actually rounded columns. This is the best example of Greek architecture that we have on campus. It's not 100%, but it's the by far and away the best example. Now, if you look at some things here, what do you notice? Ion. Kip? Uh, I think it's ironic because of the, um, what are they called again, little screws? Volutes? Uh, volutes. Yeah, we look at order of importance, right? Doric, Ionic, <laughs> Corinthian. What's on the second level? Um, uh, yeah, there are some of uh, the plasters and I think, what are they called, the uh, tab something, so tablatures. Yeah, you have a double entablature, right, because you have two, you have a two-story, basically, Greek temple style architecture on the outside. So, on the bottom, if there was a three stories, you'd have Doric, then Ionic, then Corinthian. This is two stories, so they said, well, let's start out with Ionic, and then we'll go to Corinthian.